we work with a number of agencies, state, federal, and local, the state police, the Department of Emergency Management, the, the crime lab. We work with every law enforcement agency in this state, including uh, agencies that have law enforcement divisions inside them, such as the insurance department has a fraud investigation, or the attorney general that has a fraud investigation. Information that came to us from the arre initial arrest, the fingerprint information that comes from the state police, and then what happens to that person afterwards in the courts all came to us, mostly on paper, uh, from the prosecutors on paper. I mean, everything at that time pretty much was coming by paper, so we were getting it in analog form and turning it into a digital form in-house. It was hard to use. I mean, we had a couple of mainframe programmers here. When you had to make changes, it was difficult. The system did not work as well as we wanted it to, but it had been the system had been there for a long, long, long before I was here, and I've been here a long time. So, But it just wasn't, it wasn't responsive. Uh, it wasn't quick. It wasn't, in my mind, adequate. Um, it wasn't complete, it wasn't providing a good product, and we had to get off of it. If you're not modernizing, you're, you're going backwards. This is, there is no static uh, in technology nowadays, so it, it's either old and outdated or it's being updated. We were still on the state's mainframe. We were a small user of the mainframe, and the state was looking to shut it down. And as bigger and bigger entities got off of it, then the cost of paying for it kept getting bigger and bigger for us. Driver control left. We had to get off the state's mainframe. Information that came to us from the arre initial arrest, the fingerprint information that comes from the state police, and then what happens to that person afterwards in the courts all came to us, mostly on paper, uh, from the prosecutors on paper. I mean, everything at that time pretty much was coming by paper. So we were getting it in analog form and turning it into a digital form in-house. It was hard to use. I mean, we had a couple of mainframe programmers here. When you had to make changes, it was difficult. The system did not work as well as we wanted it to, but it had been the system had been there for a long, long, long before I was here, and I've been here a long time, so, but it just wasn't, it wasn't responsive, uh, it wasn't quick, it wasn't, in my mind, adequate, um, it wasn't complete, it wasn't providing a good product. We were still on the state's mainframe. We were a small user of the mainframe, and the state was looking to shut it down, and as bigger and bigger entities got off of it, then the cost of paying for it kept getting bigger and bigger for us. Driver control left. We had to get off the state's mainframe. We had to institute a process to figure out how to do that uh, and, and get some help on how we were getting off the mainframe and, and bringing our criminal history database in-house. Once mainstream was on board, I mean, the first thing they did was come sit down with everybody here and understand how does our system work? What is it we do? How do where's the data coming from? What's it supposed to do? Where's it supposed to go? And develop pretty much a, a, a complete understanding of our processes, our systems, and how it needed to work and how we wanted it to work better than what it was doing right now. Once they had all that information and understanding from us and started putting it together and constantly everybody coming back and saying, does this work, does this work? I mean, it was a, a very much a collaborative effort. This was a huge number of processes in this, in this system. They developed this whole thing in a test mode, so everybody got to play with it. For my directions, everybody was try to break it, make sure it's working while we're testing. So play with it till you can break it, and let's see where the faults are so we can be fixed. And that's what Mainstream wanted us to do. If we found things that weren't quite right, they'd go back and fix it, and we test it again. So it had to be right the first time when we turned it on. And like I said, all of our users in the field, law enforcement, everybody who accesses us did not notice the difference. We hadn't had downtime since. So our new system is a whole lot more user friendly. It's a lot easier for my staff to be able to input data and access data and cross-reference data in ways that was never possible before. It saved us a lot of money. I mean, the, our once we got off the mainframe, we ended up saving um, 
about 500,000, 600,000 a year off of what we were spending, you know, paying the state to be on the mainframe. So it was a huge uh, ongoing cost savings to us to do this. We send out everything electronically now, so you know, there's, there's been a, a large decrease in, in paper use. Data quality is the utmost paramount number one thing that we have to have. It's made it easier to make sure our data have, is of a higher quality than it was on the mainframe because it's easier for us to get into the system and, and check things and, and make changes uh, that we couldn't necessarily do before. It's easier to reprogram some things if we have to do that. Our criminal history database is not a single source. It is a multi-complex uh, sourced uh, data coming from a large number of different areas, data going to a large number of different areas. Uh, there, there are out there, I think, uh, vendors who sell a criminal history package, uh, but everybody I know who's purchased those have had to have them greatly modified to make them fit their states. Uh, to me, it was better to, for us to build it from scratch the way we wanted it and make sure it worked the way we wanted it. Um, and ultimately, that when it was done, we owned it. We, didn't, we weren't continuing to pay user license fees and all that forever, but we, we got a product built the way we wanted it, and at the end, it's ours. Having mainstream develop the our new criminal history database and, and being there to help us upgrade it now is that they have a, a thorough working knowledge of how it, how it operates, what it can and can't do, and, and where changes can be made, uh, which has created institutional knowledge in, in an entity that's not inside our institution. So that if, for whatever reason, we lose uh, internal staffing, um, uh, Mainstream is there to help bridge that gap and get them up to speed on how the system works if, if we need them to do that. So that's kind of a fail-safe position that I like. They have become an extension of my IT department by supplementing what programmers I have on staff and doing work that they can't all do. There's too much programming work for the number of people I have on staff. I use Mainstream to create programmatic solutions to immediate problems I have. I mean, we have the ongoing development and upgrade of our, of our criminal history records, but I also use them for uh, short-term immediate programming assistance for projects that um, have a short time frame to be completed and I can't do it in-house. I'm now using Mainstream on three different projects. Uh, continuation of AMF, that the, what we'd always planned to be the second phase and upgrade to uh, which is going on but now also includes fixes that we didn't know the mainframe was you know causing uh, likewise I have another issue that I had to deal with that the Department of Motor Vehicles driver control Department of Finance Administration is getting rid of CSN numbers a CSN number is the number assigned to every citizen when you get a driver's license have mainstream on contract to help us work through and, and design the systems to allow our new sex offender database to continue to talk to our criminal history database. I've been infinitely pleased with the, the, the work product and the results and the collaboration and the involvement Mainstream's had in getting all of our projects successfully completed. <laughs>